Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the Wheel of Fortune Tarot, and this was a deck that I backed on Kickstarter. It is created by Ivy Fang, and uh, she is actually works for the company that will be printing my decks, <laughs> my Wally's World Oracle. And so um, I just, you know, thought I would do a review of her deck because I love it, like, hello. <laughs> um, so it has this beautiful, like, brass um, foil on it, which I think is lovely. It's a fantastic box, you know, obviously it's going to protect the cards really well. Um, if you look in here, there's a wonderful quote on the inside, and it says this is quoted by John William Gardner. Um, and then, of course, we have the cards in here. Um, there were some title cards as well. See, it's even got foil on the inside where I'm just like, it's so lush and it has you know, such a snug closure. Some boxes are big, kind of clumsy. I think this one is really nice. Uh, here we have the title cord, cord, like, where am I getting this accent? <laughs> and there's uh, some information. It's a little bit of dust. There isn't actually any, like, smudging or anything. It's just like dust that's on the cards. You know, sometimes the cards get that weird powder on him. And so it's got like all the contact information. Um, yeah, and this was just an extra card of, of that. Okay, yeah, that was it. Um, so I do want to show you guys the beautiful brass edging, which is so cool. And these are, um, you know, your standard tarot size cards. Um, if I take a look, oop, knock over my pyrite over there. Uh, if you take a look at the backs, and like I said, this just a little bit of a dust going on here. You have the well, it's the Wheel of Fortune because it's the Wheel of Fortune tarot. The cardstock is like this really bendy, like indestructible type cardstock. So if you're a riffle shuffler, like this is your jam right here. <laughs> um, I do want to show uh, Ivy's information as well. Uh, she does have a business card here. If you are interested in like printing you know, your own decks, like, you know, maybe you have a deck that you are creating, tarot deck or oracle deck or whatever it may be, you might want to give her a, 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 well, you can call her up, I guess, uh, or you could do a Skype or you can email her, but uh, she's absolutely wonderful and creative as well, you know, because I love this deck so let's go ahead and take a look at it um ivy's friend i believe is the one that did the art for this deck and it does follow the rider white smith kind of like outline for the cards um but i just love the the painting style and the interpretations that were taken just like, um, you know, people are like, oh, I have a Rider Waite Smith clone or I have a Rider Waite clone. I, I love that there's always just a little, it's a, there's these little different, like, you know, nuances within the cards that I, I love the, um, I love what artists take a little bit of privilege here and there, you know, take like their spin of the symbolism and, you know, what was done within the card or within, uh, like the Rider Waite Smith version. And so I definitely love um, what Ivy's friend has done with this art. And I remember during the Kickstarter, she was also selling the art. Like it was like these were huge. I mean, <laughs> the, the the tapestries took up like entire tables. Um, and I think they were they were selling them, you know, kind of as part of like the tiers for Kickstarter. And this did really well on Kickstarter. I think it funded in like four days or something like that. And Ivy, if you're watching this, you know, comment below. Let me know. Um, and um, yeah, she's, um, I love her energy. She's a really, really kind person, and which is why I'm going to be where I am working with her uh, for printing my decks. Um, she had two different versions of this deck. Um, there was a like a white version that was uh, like bridge sized, um, but I didn't like the. It had like really heavy borders on it, and I just didn't like it. Um, I much preferred the lighter. Well, I don't want to say lighter, but they're they're thinner borders on here. And plus, I loved uh, just 
the gold foil. Or brass foil, I should say. Ah, oh, my Emperor's card. It's one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. I love the interpretation of the devil here. It's pretty cool. Actually, it looks like a party devil. Like, <laughs> I love the coloring. Justice card. Very pensive, straightforward, forthright. Um, I like how this reads. I did, you know, as soon as, as soon as I got it, which it was like crazy fast shipping after the Kickstarter had ended. I mean, um, relatively fast. <laughs> um, yeah, I started using it right away and it's great. Um, with the sample deck that I printed with my own deck, I found that this deck worked really well with my own deck, Wally's World. Um, so yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm just going to get lost in the cards now. You're probably like, stop talking, I just want to look at the pictures. And when I do these deck reviews, by the way, don't feel compelled to buy every deck that I review. I do it because I love art. So many different styles of art out there, so many expressions that I just want to share it with you guys. And if you feel like getting the deck, hey, you know, I always put a link down below, but I'm, I'm never making these because I feel like people should have lots and lots and lots of decks. Sure, there are deck uh, um, collectors out there, but you don't need to be a deck collector to be a good tarot reader. <laughs> In fact, to be a reader, you just need to look at things around you. It doesn't necessarily need to be a deck of cards. See, to me, the Knight of Cups, I know that's a cup, but it kind of looks like um, an upside down, like, bottle of champagne or something, and just like, woo, like, going out for a ride. Like, I just love it. Like, that, to me, that's like a party card. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I love the coloring in this deck. It's awesome. And I'll contact Ivy and see if I can fi figure out like where you can get this deck because I don't know now after Kickstarter's over I don't know where you can get it but I will I will contact her and I'll put that link down below for you. that one. It's so awesome. I mean, I love all the cards. What am I saying? <laughs> and that's the last one. Okay, well, bring this back out. Okay, so I'm going to just give this a shuffle and I'm just going to, you know, pull us a few cards. See how this, how this goes. And for some reason, people just, you know, like, like to see cards shuffle. Nothing wrong with that. And you like the shine though? Yes, yes, with the shine. Three cards, general reading, poor favor. We got the eight of pentacles, always a good card. I'm just gonna a little shuffle off camera now. Number two, we got the king of swords. Okay, okay. do we have we have the ace of cups okay so let me fix these real quick okay so our eight of pentacles king of swords and ace of cups um i'm seeing that uh you know i mean obviously this is general it might be like for one person might be for a bunch of you out there maybe it's just for me but let's see um i do see like um you know with hard work you whatever it is that you're working on either you're like at your job just like you know working for the weekend or <laughs> you know you're just working hard on a project or whatever it may be you have to be able to balance you know create a relationship between uh balancing your hard work with also having a um 
um, like a good head on your shoulders, you know, because uh, like a business mind, because sometimes people um, will, uh, I, I was having this conversation with my uncle, sometimes when uh, people are creative types, uh, we're so, we give so much of our ourselves into our creativity, then when it comes time for business, uh, you know, um, I would say, you, you know, if, if somebody isn't accepting of the things that you have created or they, you know, want to get a bargain out of it or something like that, or they want to cut you down in price, you know, it's almost like a stab to like that you take personally because you're like, I put myself into it. And when you reject my art is like rejecting me. And so I'm just seeing as, you know, if you are a creative type, if you are, you know, um, somebody who does paintings, maybe you do sculpting, maybe you create tarot decks, you know, who, whatever it may be. Um, maybe you, maybe you do like, um, uh, gardening sculpting or, or like, you know, something like that. Um, maybe it would behoove you to take some business classes or to pair up with somebody who is business minded, um, who can, uh, you know, aid you in getting your uh, message out there, your artwork out there. Um, without compromising the integrity of what you do and also <laughs> being able to be compensated for the lovely things that you do. Um, so yeah, just, you know, a little quick reading. Um, again, uh, here is Ivy's information if you are interested. And if you have any questions, place that in the comments section down below. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. My website is also where you can pre-order the Wally's World Oracle. It has been funded on Kickstarter, which means that I must fulfill the pre-orders on Kickstarter first before I can fulfill my website orders. All right, so I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.